Hi guys, this is part two of my 3.75 inch solo Wave 4 figure review. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you check out the first part after you finish watching this video, hopefully. And um, in that video, I reviewed the Imperial Royal Guard L337 key toll site and the Han Solo Mimban or Mud Trooper which was an absolutely fantastic figure. So anyway, on to the final three figures from this wave. And as you can see, the first one is Tobias Beckett, played by Woody Harrelson in the movie. So there's just a closer look at his card. Standard rubbish on the back. And the figure itself, I think this is the, I can see Woody Harrelson in the sculpt, most definitely. I don't think the paint adds to the likeness, maybe even detracts from the likeness, but you know, it is a 3.75 inch figure, but I uh, can definitely see Woody Harrelson in the, the actual sculpt of the figure there, so good on you for that. And he's wearing a, I was going to say a trench coat, but it's not really, it's, I guess it's like a cowboy dust jacket type thing, and he does come with two weapons to blaster pistols, I do not know the model numbers for each of those blaster pistols he also comes with two holsters which is handy because he has two blasters and um, working holsters and the the blaster pistols fit in there very easily and uh, look quite good sitting in the holsters I like the way they've done the uh, the dust jacket how it's uh, sculpted to clear the holsters pretty much so uh, yeah that's a, uh, a nice detail there so he's got the uh, the sculpted holsters and the the belts he's got his boots the obviously the dust jacket is a softer plastic there's uh, his butt and uh, yeah I guess you could remove that soft plastic dust jacket if you want to but it would look pretty stupid given his arms have been sculpted in the same colour as the dust jacket he does have swivel wrists and surprisingly swivel shins swivel boots no, what do you call those? Um, I have no idea why they've done that, but I guess this makes him a, a nine POA figure. Swivel shoulders, hips, wrists, shins, and a ball jointed neck. So um, I guess more artic articulation is better than less articulation. And next up we have Val from, according to the card, Mimban, but it's not Mimban. I've forgotten the name of the uh, the planet they do the heist on. Uh, what is it? I can't remember off the top of my head. And um, usual crap on the back of the packaging. And I think this figure has been done quite well. The the head sculpt again, the head sculpt I can see tan the beautiful Tandy Newton. She's a very attractive woman. Um I can see the head sculpt the likeness in the head sculpt, but I don't think the paint helps very much. Um she does come with a blaster pistol, I guess you call it as well. She does not have a holster though, so you cannot holster that on her person. But um, yeah, that's her uh, her outfit. She does come with a, I don't even remember seeing that in the movie, uh, a box on her back with a hose going out to that thing on her upper arm, her bicep. And that is a soft plastic hose, obviously, you can see that you can uh, still swivel the arm there 
and she also comes with swivel wrists, making her a 7 POA figure. And uh, there's more soft plastic, sort of lower skirt thing going on there. More straps. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, I guess it's not too bad. I really do like that head sculpt though. The way they've painted it, I've, I've seen some pictures where it really looks like she's got these really spooky scary eyes and uh, you sort of get that vibe from my footage but it's not that bad when you see it in hand. The eyes haven't been painted too badly. Um, and then last up we have Rio Durant. So I was very very keen to have a, a close look at this figure I was fascinated to see how they did as I mentioned in the previous video the forearm thing to see if it looked I was gonna say natural but does forearms is forearm ever gonna look natural but um and I think they actually they did a reasonable job to be honest uh, again they probably did it as well as you could do in uh, in this form at this size so I thought he's wearing a pair of goggles I actually thought because of the different color on the head that he was wearing a helmet but I think that j that is just the uh, variation in his skin color you can see it um, the variation in skin color from the side of his face leading back to the back of the head so he's just wearing goggles comes with a blaster pistol sort of looks a bit like the uh, Death Trooper pistols and then uh, he does have a working holster and I tried getting this bloody pistol in the holster and for the life of me I could not success I finally got the pistol in the holster and I realized that you had to insert it with the scope sitting outside of the holster Anyways, um, to the arms, the forearms. Now, like I said, I, I was curious to see how they did this. And to be honest, I think they did a pretty good job. It, it looks as natural as, in inverted commas, as a forearmed dude could look, I guess. Uh, you can see all four forearms in action there. It's pretty freaky looking, but... Um, yeah, I, I think they did a, a reasonably good job. It doesn't look, um, again, it doesn't look as sort of disjointed or unnatural as as you might think. It it's fairly seamless. So um, yeah, good job on that one. And then uh, you can see the legs there. They're sort of sculpted in a a dynamic pose, I guess you'd call it, uh, stepping forward leaning forward pose and I, I think that's just to uh, allow a bit of stability and uh, he comes with swivel wrists on all four of those arms, swivel obviously shoulders on all four of those arms so he's an 11 POA figure there you go okay so that is it that is the full wave of seven figures reviewed of the uh, the Hasbro Solo 3.75 inch Wave 4, uh, some pretty nice figures in there. Uh, notable mentions the Han Mimban or Han Mud Trooper figure and Rio Durant for sure. They've been done really well. But to be honest, all of those figures have been done pretty well. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you're going to pick up these figures, if they ever show up at retail. I don't know if they've shown up at retail in the States or the UK or any other countries overseas. Uh, they definitely haven't here in Australia. I was lucky enough to find these online. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of the figures. Are you going to buy them? Do you not care about them? And uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and may the force be with you.